according to the Ghana Statistical Service, uh, the tourism sector in Ghana is the fourth largest foreign exchange and affecting the country some 2.2 million dollars in 2017 alone this uh, represents some 5.5 percent of the country's gdp this is huge you know uh, but we can't we be better than 5.5 percent uh to the gdp i don't know what you think send us your views and comments on all our social media platforms because i've been joined in studio uh by the ceo of the ghana tourism development company could you entry to help us understand the dynamics of the tourism sector. Good morning. Good morning. Now, the Ghana Tourism Development Company, how different is that from the Tourism Authority? Well, thank you and uh, good morning to um, our viewers. Um, we've been asked this question many times and so this is a good opportunity to, to explain further. The Ghana Tourism Authority is one of the agencies, likewise the Ghana Tourism Development Company, where I am, under the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. There are 11 agencies in all under the ministry. Now, the GTA, or the authority, is responsible for regulation of the sector. Mm -hmm. That includes licensing, that includes um, standards, training, and uh, marketing. And we don't have that at the authority? That's at the authority. Okay. Where that's okay. headed by my, my good friend, uh, Makusi Ajmai. Okay. Now, Ghana Tourism Development Company, where I am, mm -hmm. is responsible for two major things, infrastructure development and investments. Mm -hmm. And so our focus is more on what you would term as the commercial side or the commercial activities under the ministry vis-a-vis mm -hmm. um, -vis what the GTA does, which is mm -hmm. regulation and marketing led. Mm -hmm. So that's a major um, difference between the two um, institutions. So your, your job includes marketing tourism projects and holding a key role in governizing investments for uh, the private tourism Correct. industry. Which parts of this mandate do you think you've executed so far? Well, it's, um, since we've been in office, we have tried to execute to the best of our ability. For starters, let me emphasize the fact that GTDC, unlike um, GTA, is not a subvented institution, so we don't draw from central government coffers. We are made to operate like a, a proper company, so-called. We've got to be profitable in all the things we do. And so we invest, mm -hmm. and then whatever dividends we get, or whatever returns, is what we put in the development of um, mm -hmm. tourist sites. Mm -hmm. So if you go across the country, we have tried to touch on the basics in terms of infrastructure, where this in, is, is concerned. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at tourism infrastructure development, which we have executed largely, mm -hmm. and galvanizing investments, including working with the private sector. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to this definition of private sector investment, right. It will not necessarily be what we are doing as a company, mm -hmm. but what we can facilitate on behalf of government to provide, um, call it incentives or, or room, mm -hmm. comfortable room for private sector people to invest. But do you have major partners in growing the uh, tourism sector, like the private sectors? We mm -hmm. have partners mm -hmm. across, across, depending mm -hmm. on what projects we are working on. Mm -hmm. One of the principal projects the um, government is pursuing right now is the Marine Drive Tourism Investment Project, for instance. Mm -hmm. And so there are commercial agreements that have been worked on or been executed mm -hmm. with private sector interests, mm -hmm. some from the Middle East, some from South Africa, mm -hmm. and then from within the country as well, Ghana, mm -hmm. to be able to rake in the necessary investments to undertake the infrastructure and the vertical development that we are looking at on the Marine Drive um, mm -hmm. Project. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the things. Right. Now, if you go to, for instance, all the tourist sites we have in Ghana, mm -hmm. it is interesting to note that 90% or more of these sites are not in the hands of government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are in the hands of private individuals or the traditional authorities right. or in a few cases the assemblies. Mm -hmm. But we are forced to put government money in these sites, mm -hmm. whether it's in social um, amenities like mm -hmm. toilet facilities, mm -hmm. like security, mm -hmm. like safety rails, mm -hmm. we invest. Mm -hmm. so. For us, that is what we have translated or termed as private sector collaboration. Well, well, so, so let's look at the year of return and whether or not. So what was your contribution or what is your contribution to selling Ghana outside? Do you think that we're able to maximize the opportunities that the year of return brought to us? Yes, I think we did. The responsibility lied, um, laid squarely with um, the ministry led mm -hmm. by Honorable Barbara Tinjesi. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, my colleague Akosi from the marketing wing. Mm -hmm. But we as GTDC were, were focused on how we can leverage on the investments that came in. Mm -hmm. So whilst there was all the, the, the fanfare and all the events, mm -hmm. there were other things we held back door mm -hmm. to look at who has come in, who has an interest in investing in Ghana. The, the, the reason I'm asking is that, you know, most of the visits were in the, in, in the greater Accra region and in Cape Coast. You know, if, you, if, if I should visit somewhere like Paris, yeah. um, most people will go there because of, of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, if if I should go to Dubai, the Burj Khalifa, you know, people people look at various icons, the reason why they visit certain places, and, and once you go there, you're attracted to other things. Is that something we should be selling about Ghana? Absolutely, that and I'll tie are, that, that we are not selling. I'll tie that into the activities of the year of return. So, like mm -hmm. I said, with the year of return, um, this was the first leg. Correctly and rightly, so a lot of the activities were centered in Accra. Ghana is known as a heritage destination. Mm -hmm because of the slave story. Mm -hmm. 30 plus percent, um, 30 plus of all the forts and castles dot, dotted on the coast of Africa are mm -hmm. found in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We are the center. So last year was significant in terms of marking the year. Mm -hmm. So that's why you would see a lot of the story because of the heritage mm -hmm. and the culture we're selling coming through Accra. Mm -hmm. But like I said, we also sat and looked at what we can package in terms of our tourist sites. Mm -hmm. We have put together a beautiful um, brochure looking at Mm -hmm. all the tourism investment potentials, mm -hmm. what benefits government is offering, what mm -hmm. incentives are available, and sold them to these um, visitors mm -hmm. or patrons as they came in. Mm -hmm. And we identified quite a number who we are pursuing. Some I'm happy to see are actually mm -hmm. translating mm -hmm. already into business. Those mm -hmm. who are, you know, started talking about building of hotels, right. those who have discussed with us the potential to build first-class training, hospitality training institutes. Mm -hmm. These are things that will translate, are going to translate out of the year of return activities. Mm -hmm. But talking about iconic structures, as you have mentioned, so that we can spread the visits, it's Absolutely. true. Many people will go to Paris for the purposes of seeing the Eiffel Tower. You can't yeah, miss it. Yeah. Dubai has the um, Burj Khalifa. Khalifa. Ghana is investing in what we have come to call the center of the world. So after the year of return activities, mm -hmm. we are moving on to what we call the beyond the return, built okay. on seven strong pillars. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure, marketing, birthright, and other things are all in there. But we have also realized that many people will come to your country because of these things that stand tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have the mm -hmm. longitude zero degrees mm -hmm. running through the country, mm -hmm. which is the Greenwich Line. Mm -hmm. We sang it as songs in school, but mm -hmm. we haven't done much with it touristically mm -hmm. and commercially. Mm -hmm. And so we have built a project called the Center of the World Project, mm -hmm. which is looking at putting strategic assets on this Greenwich Line. And, and I'm glad you spoke about infrastructure as part of the strategies. So like the tourism development and its challenges, how, how are we relative to infrastructure? How are you, you know, working towards that? Because the, it's, a, it's a major challenge. The is challenges it? are many to mm -hmm. attract mm -hmm. investment um, into the tourism center. Understandably, there's pressure on government chest when it comes to, I mean, sharing of the national kick. There's healthcare, there's education, there's roads, and all of that. But this government is committed to working on tourism, and mm -hmm. we have seen the evidence of that. Mm -hmm. But we still ad admit that mm -hmm. there is there's more we need in terms mm -hmm. of resource. That's why we're working with the private sector. Mm -hmm. So this is all we're doing. Mm -hmm. In terms of incentives, mm -hmm. for anybody who is interested in developing tourism mm -hmm. in Ghana, whether mm -hmm. it is in the services, whether it's in building strategic assets, right. the incentives we have put together. Mm -hmm. For instance, the corporate tax for regular businesses stands at 25% mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Anybody who wants to do a hotel, the government says you'll you, you be paying 22%. Mm -hmm. The cumulative effect of the 3% reduction is huge for any enterprise. Very huge. Mm -hmm. So we are pushing that. Mm -hmm. um, there's the general reduction of um, energy-related um, tariffs, which helps the hotel industry or the services industry for that matter. Mm. And so there are other benefits you have put together. Tax breaks or holidays for a certain number of years. Mm -hmm. once and these, like, and yeah. these uh, reduction is for both local and foreign investors. Yes, right? both local and foreign right. investors. We are grateful. We are good. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time to talk uh, to talk about this. But I'm sure that we'll have another platform to, to talk about what the, the Ghana Tourism Development Company mm -hmm. is doing to support the tourism sector here in Ghana. So if you're an investor, both foreign and uh, uh, local, uh, government has got a package for you. So you want to take advantage of that.